All right, here's a little review on now two-point perspective. We started with single point, and now we're going to go into two-point perspective. So it's a little more complicated. So I'm just going to start with a loose horizon line and um, some vanishing points on either end of that line. Okay, with single point perspective, we usually start with the front face of the object. Um, with two point perspective, we start with the front corner of an object. So um, I don't even need to draw a box, I just need to draw one vertical line. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the top and the bottoms of that line and connect it to my vanishing points. So there we go. Again, I'm doing this very loosely. I don't feel like using a ruler and being super precise. This should be good enough. All right, there we go. Okay, now I have like, it looks like a birthday card that goes on forever and ever. So I'm going to cut it off always with parallel lines. There we go, I cut off. That's a vertical line. The vertical line. Eh, I'm going to cut it off like right there. Wonderful. I'll get rid of my converging lines, orthogonals. Okay. It's good. Okay. Uh, now it looks like I have more of a regular birthday card looking thing going on. So I need to close this up so it looks like a box. Okay. So I take the back corner and I connect it to that vanishing point, and then I finish off the other side by taking this back corner and connecting it to that vanishing point, and it perfectly cuts it off for me on top, just right there. Okay, and that's a little review on two point perspective. And I could get really, really involved in this, but I'm counting on you remembering how to do this from art one and all your drawing skills. Okay, now the thing with perspective um, that we did the same thing each time okay and you didn't even realize that we did it <laughs> is we drew what was closest to us first so whatever was more towards the foreground is what we drew first for example okay whatever we totally saw whatever was mostly the closest thing to us in the foreground is what we drew first so with this box right here Okay, we didn't draw start, start drawing the sides of it that was converging back. We started always with the front face. That's closest to us. We absolutely see that front face. We absolutely can see the front face of this cylinder and this and this prism thing and this box as well. Okay. Here. Okay. We started with the front corner because that is what is closest to us in the foreground. And then we worked off of that and had our drawing go into the distance. And that is going to be what's key about drawing something from in, in that foreshortened uh, way. So um, I don't know if it's if I were to draw my perfume bottle or something and I wanted to draw it from that kind of foreshortened angle where it's like, this is really up close to us, and then it goes further and back into the distance. Oop, let's just, there we go, just like that. Okay, I'm going to absolutely draw what I see first in the foreground here, and then move my way back, okay, as it's going away from us into the distance. Um, and that'll be, I think, the key to helping you draw something more foreshortened.